Hello, Gemini. This reading is for you for the week of November 1st to the 15th. Not all my readings will resonate with you. Uh, make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising if I have them uploaded. Um, I was trying to meditate on your energy, Gemini. And in true Gemini fashion, I seen clouds. Um, I did see children as well, but most prominently, I seen clouds. I feel at the moment you may have <laughs> your head in the clouds at the moment. Yeah, you have the tower reversed. So I feel like there's a change that's coming through that maybe you're reluctantly not wanting to to change. You're resisting change in your life at the moment, and you also have. You're being crossed by the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like this could be work-related. Maybe you've changed jobs and um, you're really reluctant to make this change. But I feel like at the moment, um, it's going to be a more prosperous decision for you. Um, in your, This could be you not wanting to let go of your independence um, in the near past you have the page of swords so i feel like some clarity some truth has come to you uh, maybe re you received a message that kind of brought the truth to light does that make sense you also have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, this could be an earth sign. Um, and you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Man, you are really reluctant this change, Gemini. Um, and you have the... Come on, Kobe. Get down. I'm sorry about that. Let me put here on oh, my table. Okay, I'm shedding. Okay, and you also have the um, Ace of Swords in reverse. So I feel like you're reluctant to change. I feel like... Um, you know the truth, but you don't want to accept it. You don't want to accept that. You don't want to accept this new beginning. Have you been alone for a long time, Gemini, and now you are kind of reluctant to move on from your solitude? You are feeling like you have to release your independence to this King of Pentacles. Um, maybe this King of Pentacles is a little controlling and you feel like you're reluctant to give up your control. You feel like they're overbearing to you, I believe. Yeah, in your energy, we have the four of wands. So I believe if you were alone, you were kind of happy. You're content at the moment. You're just not wanting to release power or believe that these things. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. The Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person sees you as very skilled, as being a good partner, a good teammate, but you're reluctant to see that, I think. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like you're 
you're looking at it at the point that this person, um, if this is a person or a situation, it's not worth your effort. I feel like you feel like you're doing all the work on your own. Like they're not putting anything into the situation. If this is a person, I feel like you, you feel like you're doing it all alone. I'd be surprised if the Ten of Wands don't come in here too. I'm kind of getting Ten of Wands energy. Like you're feeling very overburdened by the situation. Um, but you do have the sun. So I feel like in the outcome, once you make your decisions, that this is going to be a good outcome. You have judgment in reverse. You have four of pentacles in reverse. And you have the three of wands upright. And you have the eight of swords at the bottom in reverse. So I, I feel like this person is holding you back from this situation. I, I feel like you are trying to make a decision on this. Um, and you do have, you have the judgment, the four of pentacles and the three of wands. Um, the, now the judgment reversed. I feel like you're reluctant to make a final decision. Um, this is taken away from your stability. This Maybe this person is asking you to um, support them financially, and you're like, no, uh-uh, I, I don't want to do that. That's taken away from myself. That's taken away from my, my situation. Um, but I do feel like you see the truth. You're expanding. You are kind of thinking and making your plans into what to do next. Very interesting, Gemini. Very interesting. Wow. Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom here. I'm not going to take all of these. Maybe I will. Okay. You have the Two of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Hangman, and the Ten of Pentacles. So I believe that, yeah, you're reluctant to start this new beginning. You're reluctant for this change. But I believe that if you, if you sacrifice this change, it will bring you a lot of contentment. It will, and I, I, th I think you need to soul search in this situation. You need to really soul search um, because you have the hangman and the ten of pentacles here. And you have the ace of pentacles in reverse. And this may be love because you have the two of cups as well. Um, in this situation, I, I think you're very reluctant to change. You're resisting the change. Um... And I can't say whether the outcome is going to be good or bad, but you do have the Ten of Pentacles. And you do have the, the sun in your outcome. So, um, yeah, and you do have a lot of support here. You have the justice, the justice in reverse. So I believe that your energies, that this may be something that you're – Reluctant to make a decision on, but I feel like your destiny is kind of pulling towards that decision. It's your karmic energy. Um, and you have the the three of pentacles in reverse and the three of cups. So this situation may lead to losing some of your support. But the people who are really behind you, the people who really care and are there to support you, will be there in the end. I, I feel like in the end, you still are supported, but I feel like some people are falling off from the situation. 
Um, let's get some clarity for this sun, please. I want some clarity for the sun. Um, give me some clarity for the sun in this situation. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. I kind of felt that the Ten of Wands was going to come in this situation. Um, you're feeling really overburdened at the moment, but I feel like that's the end of the cycle. You know the truth. The truths are going to come out. And yeah, you have the Four of Pentacles at the bottom. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like a lot of truths are going to come out. You are reluctant to consider losing any stability from your life. And I feel like, excuse me. I feel like you... Kind of know where to go with the situation. Um, but I think you need to trust your gut. Trust your gut in the situation that the divine is going to give you guidance. Let's get some, some clarity here. Mm. Angels and spirits. What advice do you have? Okay. Birds of a feather. Yeah, number 25. Number 25 might be significant for you. Birds of a feather. So I feel like, yeah, you are supported. Maybe these are friends who has kind of led you in this situation. Hmm. Very interesting, Gemini. This is a very interesting reading. You have me really thinking on this one. And number 43, Spirit of Gratitude. So yeah, I, I think Spirit is letting you know to be thankful for the things that you do have. To um, always show gratitude um, for these things. And I, I feel like this change Although sometimes change can be very hard. Sometimes we can be really reluctant and resistant to go through change. But change is a part of life. We go through so many changes. We go through so many cycles. And, and I, I feel like this, this is a cycle that you need to go through. This is something that, that's going to... Although, you know, you, you may not see it now... You have the sun in the outcome. Um, you have the ten of wands. This, this can be your harvest. This could be you bringing home your harvest. And you have the clear answers. So and I, I feel like sometimes change is hard. But I feel like sometimes change is, in, in, well, definitely change is inevitable. But, yeah, I, I feel like. You're resisting change at this moment. You don't want things to change. Let's get some angel answers here. Oceana, I take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation. You need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. Yeah, just what I was saying. You Trust your gut in this situation and um, move ahead because you, you don't want to be stuck. You don't want to be stuck. This change is, seems it's, it, it's coming whether you want it or not. So, I mean, resisting the change is only, only going to bring more conflict and, and other things to your life. So I think you need to not resist that. And you also got Shanti. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Yeah, so I think with this change, you're going to have a smooth road. And Spirit is letting you know you're being protected through this. 
and maybe you lost someone um, you also have Sonia at the bottom I bring you a message from your deceased loved one I am happy at peace and I love you very much please don't worry about me so yeah I think spirit is delivering that message straight to you okay Gemini this is your message for the week of January 1st to the 15th if this message resonated with you please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads um, if you will take a look at your Sun moon and rising for further clarity on the situation and many blessings to you love and light to you